Good morning. Today we are quieting things down. You can see some hints of what's going to happen here today. There's some clouds overhead in Fargo right now. We're starting to see some breaks in those clouds overhead and gradually will improve things as we make our way through our Thursday. So it was a rough day yesterday in areas that we had the strong to severe thunderstorms. There's still some rain going on out there right now uh, in places in lakes country, so not quite done with the rain just yet. But the overall uh, trend will be for some improving conditions, some clearing skies and not just clearing skies, but blue skies coming up here for today. Let's take a full screen view of what we've got going on here in the forecast. Again, we want to uh, take a look at that sky cam. You can see that we've got some uh, areas where we're starting to clear out, but check out our air quality. Big improvements over the recent days. We still have an area in yellow, which is more moderate air quality, but lots of places in green. And in fact, last hour, everybody was in the green, which means good air quality. So we're right there in the mix for some better air for today. And looking at our surface smoke forecast, you can see that we've got the blue still showing up, uh, which is still indicating that there may be some smoke in the air, but it's lower concentrations here. So this continues into this evening, moving ahead overnight, even some areas where the smoke completely clears out and we've got some decent weather heading into tomorrow as far as uh, clearing skies and uh, no smoke in the air. So some improvements happening the next couple of days. Now visibility may still be down a little bit this morning because of the moisture in the air. We do have some fog in spots trying to uh, get going here. You can see Hallock is at a mile and a quarter visibility. We're at two miles in Faustin back over to the west. Devil's Lake two and a half, three miles in Cooperstown and in Oak. So visibility not not perfect, but uh, we don't have any reports of dense fog, at least right now. This is something we'll continue to monitor until we can start warming things up with that sunrise today. So here's a look at the latest. We're not really the sun is up in Fargo, but we're not seeing it right now because of the cloud cover overhead. And then you can see over to the east still working on getting those showers out of here, but it's not out of here yet. Wadena uh, back over to Alexandria, Elbow Lake, seeing some rain back into places like Purim, the Frazee area getting some rain right now as well. That does eventually move on and then the, we can clean up without having to deal with the rain falling on us too in those places today. Temperatures in the 60s. We're at 69 in Fargo, 65 in Grand Forks. Looking at wind speeds that are not too bad. In fact, a lot of calm reports coming in. And here's a look at the forecast. The clouds will be on their way out. And so by midday into the afternoon, lots of places enjoying sunshine at that point. It will be hot. We're looking at temperatures into the mid 80s to about 90 for most areas today. Uh, so another toasty afternoon into the evening, but it, it will at least be quiet. We're not worried about severe weather for today. We do have more storm chances returning in the forecast. We'll take a look at that coming up and your forecast is sponsored by Innovative Basement Authority. It just keeps getting worse. These are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation, but it's okay. We got it. Oh, this is done growing in this house. Okay. Cracking drywall is just one sign your foundation is compromised, but you can. Put water back in its place with a free inspection from Innovative Basement Authority. For a limited time, get $500 off any repairs when you call or go online today. So in our extended planner today, tomorrow going to be a couple of hot days, but quieter days once we get this morning's rain out of here. And then this weekend, Saturday is the day to watch for some returning rain and thunderstorm chances right now isolated, but still a possibility. A couple of them could be stronger. So that's one day to watch, especially if you're going to be away from home. If you're out at WeFest, want to make sure you have a way to be alerted to severe weather and check on that radar. Keep an eye on things. Uh, Sunday, we start to quiet down. We cool down as well. More 80 for your high on Sunday and we keep that range going into next week. You can see mid 70s to around 80 degrees for highs. So a big difference, a good, you know, 15 degrees on some days from what we have been experiencing. So uh, relief in sight for those who have not loved the heat mm -hmm. and you know, it's still warm. We're still enjoying some nice weather heading into next week as well. Yeah, summer's not gone by any means. Oh no, I know it's the first day of August and that's got people, you know, feeling a little nervous mm -hmm. about, you know, moving through summer so quickly, but uh, still a lot of time for some summer weather. Ah, okay, I'll, I'll remember that. Yes. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa.